Well, welcome back everyone. All right, so we all know that a balance between work and personal life, that's very important, but there's something that often gets overlooked. So I'm talking about being happy at work and how that makes you and what it really does for you. So Alicia, the Metro Market Manager of Robert Half here in Grand Rapids is here to share some insights about that. Alicia, thank you so much for joining us today on this beautiful Friday. I know it's wonderful out, so we'll let you get back outside in just a little bit. But first off, talk a little bit about what Robert Half is. Well, we help people work happy. So we're a like specialized <laughs> staffing company. Yeah. Um, we specialize in accounting, finance, IT, and administrative placements. So we help people find the right jobs. Wonderful, okay. And I know that you guys did a survey on three major, th three major things to really keep employees happy. Let's talk about that, because I'm interested in knowing what exactly those three things are. I, yeah, it, it's actually um, funny because you would think it'd be first you know, better pay. Oh yeah, better like incentives. Better pay, a four-day work week. You know, right. more vacation time, better health care, all those fine things. Yeah. But actually, people want to have pride in the company that they're working for. Interesting. Okay. They want to feel appreciated. Very important. Yeah. You know, happy isn't always doesn't always look like smiling and laughing all day. <laughs> it's actually, you know, being instilled in what the company does and what you're doing. So are my skills being used every day? Okay, gotcha. And there are some times obviously where you can wait very long time for some of these things to come into effect. So what if, what can you do for yourself to make yourself happy at work? You know, what can you implement yourself at work? Yep. Every company and person is going to be a case by case basis, mm -hmm. right? But it's really important that people kind of look inside themselves and kind of pinpoint why are they unhappy and can yeah. they change it. Um, it is a great job market right now. We know there's more jobs and there's people. Which is a great thing, sure. Yeah, so this is why it's a great time to take a step back and say, am I happy right now? I know that I've been at uh, some places where unfortunately a lot of people did not feel appreciated and we had a lot of people leave just kind of jumping ship left and right. What can really employers do to, to keep some of these people around? Yep. Um, you know, I wouldn't take for granted that they know why the company is great. Mm -hmm. So make sure you're giving the whole big picture as to what are the great things that the company does and then spend some one-on-one -on -one time with that person because again, it's always a case-by-case -case basis of what is that person, what could be the thing you could do to go the extra mile to make that person feel appreciated. What are some examples of like really like going the extra mile for employees to do? For yeah, their employees? it could be, you know, we just talked about the work-life balance oh, thing. Yeah. Maybe that's what's really important to them or maybe it's being recognized. Mm -hmm. You know, some people like that extra um, recognition for even the small things that they do. I got to point out here at 13 on your side, we have a really uh, a great job at, at doing that. And we have these actual, you know, sheets where people can fill out of other people appreciating them. And then you get like, you know, candy bar, stick of gum, and it's wonderful. It really does make your day. So I love awesome it. tips. Thank you so much, Alicia. I really appreciate it. We've got a lot of these tips on our website as well, 13onyourside.com. Stick around. We'll be right back.